so we finally got him again, Alexander Sanger. It's an honor. Thank you so much for giving us the chance to interview once again. We wanted to get your thoughts on the virality and the amazing response from the viewers on the video. Well, I'm, I'm stunned. Uh, I knew nothing about TikTok before you found me. And uh, to have 25 million viewers hear what I have to say, it's, it's amazing. I've, I've never had an experience like that in my life, even though I've certainly done a lot of media in the past. I, tra I heard that it translated to a whole bunch of interviews around the world for you. Explain that. Yeah, over the last couple of days, thanks to uh, your video on TikTok, I've done interviews in New Zealand television, uh, London, and in wow. Dublin, Ireland, and in Italy. So it, it's it's your vira vira virality, if that's what it's called, has yep. gone worldwide. Yeah. yeah, it's gone really viral. Thank you for giving me the chance to, you know, some people just kept like brushing us off, but thank you for uh, giving me that chance to interview you. Well, you look um, very nice and harmless, so I'm, <laughs> well, that's yeah, good. I'm that's... Gl glad to do it. Thank you. And there were so many comments of support, so I wanted to read some of them to you really quick. You touched a lot of people with your words, and many, many people were happy. Uh, the first one was, this is the best do you know who I am moment ever. Right. Well, I, I, you stunned me when you came up to me and put the microphone in my face. I didn't know what to say. I hope I didn't sound like too much of a jerk, but I, 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 you really surprised me. Amazing couple. I loved how you were holding your wife's hand throughout the whole interview. Ladies and gentlemen, him. You know, my wife and I, we've been married 44 years oh, wow. and we're all always holding hands. And Congratulations. Have That's our amazing. arms linked together as we walk around. So That's beautiful. Very fitting. What a king. Well, wow. Um, of course, I almost thought Elvis was the king, but I'll take it. What he said times a million. The, the support, I mean, from the, from this and other comments, really, uh, we, we hit a chord out there of uh, people being angry and people were agreeing with what I had to say. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, I hope I was reflecting uh, what people were feeling out there. It's certainly, it's certainly what I feel so strongly. And uh, I, I, I'm just glad it resonated. And it, and other people are now talking about what we're saying. And, uh, it's what I've been doing my whole life. I've certainly been on the, in this fight a long time, as was my grandmother, and uh, it's, really, it's really an honor to do the work. And yeah. um, I'm, I'm glad you found me. I'm glad too, honestly. My mom was really proud of me, so. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel that uh, we met by chance? The fact that some people actually think we planned this. I mean, what, what, how do you feel about that? Well, I, I, I'm sorry people feel that the press is cynical um, because this was totally happenstance, and miracles can happen, mm -hmm. and, and this was one of them. And it, what a great way to get my position out about defending women and defending yep. reproductive rights and helping women in this, in this country is something I feel so strongly about. So it, it, it was just wonderful uh, happenstance. We wanted to talk about the Roe v. Wade decision. Um, so what are your thoughts on that? Well, it, it's such a retrograde decision. It's so 19th century. Uh, the court wants to put women back to a time where they had, they had no rights. Uh, women were property. <laughs> women couldn't vote. Women couldn't work. Yeah. Uh, and they certainly couldn't con not control their fertility. Um, and th that's what this court wants. They want men to control women's fertility. They want men in charge of the family, men in charge of the workplace. And um, it, it's really a disgraceful opinion. And no matter what the majority said, there's no... Uh, historical or ju judicial backing for a decision of this of this kind. There there are rights to privacy. There are, there are rights to people leading their own lives, making their own decisions about childbearing, who they're going to marry, what kind of job they're going to have. The, those are, are fundamental rights, yeah. um, and, and they cannot be impinged by any court, any time, anyhow. I like to think it's a pyrrhic victory. Women are going to rise up. Women are angry, and the good men of this country are angry, mm -hmm. um, and they're going to overturn this. It's it's going to take years. Uh, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, it's going to be state by state, and uh, women and men need to realize that this country is one election away from losing reproductive rights entirely, because if we lose the presidency, lose the Congress they'll pass a nationwide ban on abortion. Wow. And that's what we've got to stop. And what do you think motivated the Supreme Court to overrule Roe v. Wade? I think the, the men there were appointed by uh, Trump and, uh, and other Republican presidents um, to have uh, men back control of the battle of the sexes mm -hmm. about who controls reproduction. Um, and there's a huge racial aspect to this. 
which I've talked about before. Uh, white men are fearing the, uh, you know, people of color supplanting mm -hmm. them in power. They white men want to prevent their white wives from having abortions. They want to have more children. Um, and that's really what it's all about at, at the bottom. That's what it was, mm -hmm. it was about in the 19th century when these laws got passed. So it, it's the same historical trend coming back again and again. Do you think this ruling will be reversed in any way? I think it, it'll take decades for the court to overturn this ruling, just like it did with racial uh, segregation rulings. Mm -hmm. Those, that took 50 years for Brown versus Board of Education to happen. So it's going to be a state-by-state -state fight. Hopefully it will never come up in Congress unless our side takes control and we can pass a nationwide uh, law supporting reproductive rights. So it's going to be state-by-state -state and it's going to be inch-by-inch -inch and we've got to uh, organize at the precinct level, mm -hmm. the community level, um, find messaging to get women and men, moderate women and men, mm -hmm. who may vote Republican for other issues, but get them on our side on this issue. Because yeah. they don't want women dying from this. They don't want their daughters and wives harmed. Yes. And they want women to have control of their lives and get out in the workplace and contribute to this country and lead this country, as they should be. Anything the Democrats can do to make abortion federally legal? Well, the Democrats now, I think, would like to do that. They don't have the votes uh, yeah. yet in Congress. Um, it, it's going to take a super majority in Congress to do that. Mm -hmm. So the, the Democrats have got to um, really organize around this issue uh, and get uh, compelling candidates running at, at all levels of government. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and good Republicans also. I mean, I, I know because Republicans also support Planned Parenthood and support yeah. people who rights. Many of them are donors to us. Um, and it's, so it's, it's not a monolith out there. And so mm. there are cracks that we need to take advantage of and inspire to support women. And what worries you most about this decision? Well, I, I don't want our side to uh, feel downhearted or depressed about it. I mean, it's an awful decision. Um, and it's depressing, yes. Yeah. But we need to, okay, it's a new day, wake up, and we've got to organize um, and work on how we talk to people out there who may not agree with us 100%, but yeah. don't want women harmed. Mm -hmm. And we have to look actually to other, other countries that have had national campaigns mm -hmm. around this and, and national referenda, Ireland being the most recent. Yeah. Um, and so there, there are lessons to be learned. And no one wants this country to be another Poland or another El Salvador, mm -hmm. where women are put in jail for miscarriages, uh, oh, and wow. doctors and women are jailed for exercising their right to terminate a pregnancy. I worry that women are going to be harmed. Um, mm -hmm. Women are going to be forced to travel out of state. Uh, they may be going to illegal or substandard abortion providers. They may be taking abortion pills without supervision, mm -hmm. uh, which occasionally, very rarely, cause uh, a s severe bleeding. Mm -hmm. They need medical supervision, medical care for that. Mm -hmm. um, I worry they won't get it for fear of being prosecuted. I worry about women delaying abortions because of the cost and the travel involved and mm -hmm. finding uh, a, a good doctor to go to if, you, if they need a surgical procedure. So that delays an abortion, that makes it more risky. Mm -hmm. But abortion is still the safest medical procedure in, in the country. There was actually a story about a doctor who was supposed to, um, the woman needed an abortion immediately for her health, but he couldn't do it. He had to call his lawyer first to get approval because he didn't want to lose his license. And this happened a couple days ago. Yeah, there, the many states have an exception for the health of the woman or to save yeah. the life of a woman. That's such a gray area medically. What What is going to be required medically? Yeah. Uh, is, the, is the termination of her pregnancy uh, necessary and vital for, for that woman? Um, and so doctors are going to be scared. They don't want to lose their license. They don't want to go to jail. So do, do we know, now have to have judges and lawyers in an operating room? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it, it's, it's very scary, very scary. What long-term effects will this have on women and the American society, in your, in your opinion? Well, I think, um, I, and I hope, women and, and, and good men out there are going to be so outraged by this. Um, they're going to be more politically involved. They're going to organize. They're going to show up and vote. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's a disgrace that in some elections, maybe 60%, yeah. maybe 70% of the people mm -hmm. vote. Well, everyone needs to vote on this. Um, 
and we need to get good candidates uh, and, and have the right messaging and just not be discouraged. Uh, you know, I, I've been doing this a long time, yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm not discouraged. That's good. I mean, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to keep fighting, um, and, and maybe this, my, my children are going to pick up the banner for me. What do you think changed in this country? Well, there, there have been a lot of changes in this country, um, and I, I think there's a lot um, on the on the right wing side. There's a lot of fear, and mm. that, that fear is getting stoked by people like Trump. Yeah. Um, and, and others. And I, I'm on the hope side of the equation. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, people say there, there are only two emotions, hope and fear. Yeah. Um, and so we have to be on the, on the hope side. Now, I, I do fear women are gonna be harmed by this. And some women will be, that's, it's, that's awful. Um, but we have to present a positive side to the American people and, and have them overcome their fears that we're, we're, we're all in this together, yeah. despite political divisions. Um, and one thing we can come around is we don't want women dying in the streets. Definitely, definitely. And any other words of, uh, like any statements or any other words of encouragement you have for the viewers that are watching? Well, I'm, I'm just honored uh, by all the response to the comments I, I've made. Um, it's, it's really heartening. Um, I, I've never had a response like this in my life, uh, but ever. Um, and, and it's stunning and I really appreciate the support. Um, and uh, you know, one or two people I'm told said uh, it's really wonderful to see uh, an old person supporting reproductive rights. <laughs> well, you know, I don't feel that old, really. <laughs> I, no, you're not I'm, old. You're not I'm that old. 70, <laughs> I'm 74. I don't feel old. <laughs> well, that's uh, great. That's uh, awesome. And th this has rejuvenated me. So I, I really appreciate all the support out there. It's, it's, it's been really, really heartwarming. That's wonderful. And then uh, you told me, you were just telling me earlier, you opened up a TikTok. And how, what was that experience yes. like? Well, really, I, I, I had heard of TikTok, knew nothing about it. So, yes, I did uh, open up a, an account. My, my grandson had to help me, uh, but I, I got it done and I watched uh, your videos there. And, it, you know, I, can, I congratulate you for doing the interview and following through. Thank and you so exciting. much. It's, yeah. very, it's very exciting. And I'm really happy to have you here again to follow up with the viewers. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, it, like always, it was an amazing experience. Yeah, well, my pleasure.